Uh, letter number one, dear Dave, I heard you were a bagger at Atlas back in the day. What's the story? Rock on, uh, Rob Goodwin, uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Well, uh, Rock on Rob here is talking about a time in my life when I was a kid, just a high school kid, and I worked at a wonderful place. It was a grocery store near my home. It was the Atlas Supermarket, and I was a bag boy. I was a stock boy. I did everything. I loved it, and I haven't been back to the Atlas Supermarket for, geez, I guess 20, 25 years until... A couple of weeks ago, I went back there. I want to tell you something. Man, did that bring back memories. Walking through the aisles of that place. Ooh, boy. Oh, man, I can't believe it. This is, this is amazing. It's just exactly the way it was when I worked here. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I put this milk in the shelf. Look at that. 30 years ago. How do you get here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened to the stuff? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I gotta do that. Yeah. By the way, that's the first, the first rule of comedy. If you can make people sick to their stomach, that's as good as a laugh. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Letter number two. Dear Dave, uh, if you and the Late Show crew and band were stuck on a desert island, uh, which one would be the first one to snap? Uh, sincerely, yours, Rob uh, Rausch, uh, Albany, New York. Uh, this is one of those psychological uh, exercise kind of a questions. And uh, I'm not sure who would snap, Rob, but uh, by the way, this is an excellent opportunity now to introduce a brand new character to the Late Show. Pat Farmer, the stagehand, stranded on a desert island. Pat, here he is right there. For seven long years, I've been stranded on this island, my skin baking in the merciless sun, my throat stinging with the sharp tang of salt water, nothing to do but scratch the names of loved ones in the sand and watch as the waves wash them away. Like few other men, I truly know what it means to be alone. Hey, Pat. Hey, Ken, what's up? Want to go grab a beer? Sure. Sheen and Pat Farmer. Take a bow, boys. Come on. Let's hear it for him. What a nice job. There they are. Wow, that was... You brought the outfit from the house. Letter number three. Letter number... Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse... I'm sorry. Excuse me. I fall, you fall into old patterns. Dear Dave, we were wondering if you could babysit while we enjoy an evening on the town. Sincerely, Amy K. Smith of Provo, Utah. This is a great question, and you know why? Because recently, here at The Late Show, a lot of our staff members, a lot of our good friends have been having uh, babies. Uh, for example, I don't want to embarrass anybody, but our executive producer, uh, Rob Burnett, and his lovely wife, Eunice, a couple of, well, just last week, had another baby girl. They have Sydney, and now they have uh, Lucy right there. Congratulations. She's a beautiful little girl. Look at that baby. Look at how sweet that baby is. Cute. All right. Alan Coulter, our announcer, uh, not so very long ago. Alan and his wife had uh, twins. What are their names, Alan? Benny and Billy, Dave. Benny and Billy. Congratulations. They're beautiful kids. And I love the red hair. That's very, very cute. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's the only case uh, ever in the history of recorded medicine that a child has been born with a toupee. Am I right about that? <laughs> it has never happened before. And, and uh, about seven months ago, our, our band leader, uh, Paul Schaefer, and his lovely wife, uh, Kathy, also uh, had a baby. What, what's your baby's name, Paul? <laughs> what's the baby's name? This is, uh, this is Sam. Sam. Oh. Yeah, and he's, uh, isn't he? He has your eyes. Yeah. He really has your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I didn't, and I, does your wife have the purple hair? She doesn't, no. She doesn't have the purple hair. She has black hair, so yeah. I don't know. Oh, right well. in, speak into the mic, Dave. That's all right, let's just keep... <laughs> purple hair. We thought, we thought it'd be better we just go with the purple hair. Uh, letter number four. Hey, Dave, has Biff ever sumo wrestled a chicken? Sincerely, Glenn Ham's uh, Gresham, Oregon. Well, how about it, Biff? Uh, Biff Henderson, where are you? Have you ever, have you ever sumo wrestled a chicken? Dave, that's stuff for kids.
but I have dabbled in the martial arts. Bring it on, John Kitty. Come on, baby. Come on. Little stuff. <laughs> well, there you go. That's the old CBS mailbag.